Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. Did you get my message, Jen? No. Just sent you one. Oh, sorry. I'll have a look. Hang on. Oh, hi everyone. <clears throat> oh, hello. I'll, probably, I'll have to turn my mic off just for a minute because Teddy's not asleep. So I don't want nobody needs to be hearing him moaning. <laughs> no problem. I'll, I'll come back on on when it's my guy. I'll just wait for the numbers for, to study off coming in. It's very quiet. Ah, oh, thanks, Michelle. I feel a bit extra, to be honest, but. Tammy recording. I am. Ah. <laughs> How's the lips, Amy? I feel like they've gone down a lot more now. Can you see? Yeah, they look lovely. Very nice. I've still got 0 0.3 to go in next Friday. Oh, I say. <laughs> now I'm feeling extra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but your hair looks absolutely lovely, though, Tam. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. The biggest cup. It's the sexy one. Very nice. I'm still waiting for that cup to come in stock. It's still out of stock on consultant store. Oh, I know. It's so good as well. It makes such a nice big cup of coffee. I know. I have to have a big mug, me. Yeah. I like a big mug. Although Jem sent me a Ray Dunn one, and that's really nice, actually. God, this is for the recording. People are like, oh. We won't mention about potato toes then, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, Tam, I've messaged you back. Give me the green light. Yes, please. Okay, no worries. Are you sure? Yeah, of course, yeah. Just pulling a bit of last minute planning together, guys. <laughs> I can I can talk really fast. It's fine. Okay, right. I shall get going because there is no um waiting room. So I shall spotlight myself. And who's talking next? Gemma Glover. Gemma, where are you? Where are you? I hope everyone's all right. Anyway, who is active? It's a bit quiet. I know it is, feels really quiet. It's a bit eerie. Who is active in April already? Give yourself a shout out in the chat. Ah, oh, Jenna. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, loads of people saying they're active. Woohoo! Well done, guys. I love it. I love it. There she goes. Ah, oh, so many of you. Congratulations, guys. It's amazing. Such a good month as well. And now we've just had the announcement of the Disney fans. Okay, so that's our kickoff. Um, and hopefully, I don't know if tonight will be as long as normal. When I was looking through it, I thought, I don't know, actually. Um, but welcome to week three. Let's have it. Um, tonight is all about... Um, products, 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 products. So we're not just going to be talking about LTOs tonight. We want to be talking about this, the amazing products and all the amazing things that we have in here. Okay. And show you what an endless opportunity you've got with what we have. Um, and seriously, seriously amazing um, quality products. And we've got to be going through all the different products 
um, all the different ranges, and we're going to be showing you how to make the most of this and um, LTOs as well. Um, I'm just going to mute. Someone's on mute. Uh, right, so I'm going to be showing you all of the. We're going to be like the same fast pace as usual. Um, we're going to take a subject each and go through. So grab a notebook, pen, take as many notes as you can, and make sure that anything that speaks to you you put into action because that's the most important thing. But anything that inspires you and makes you excited um, that you then go ahead and put it into action. Um, it's So tonight is not just about the actual products, but it's also really instilling the importance of the knowledge, um, of knowledge of the products, okay? So it's really, really important to remember, guys, really important to remember, you are never gonna know everything. I don't know everything, Gem, Gem. Sarah, Amy, Janet, everyone I can see, none of us know everything. We're always learning, not everything about the products, not everything about the business, not everything about the company. We're never gonna know everything, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be trying to learn. It's really important that you are trying to learn, okay? Um, it's important to be intentionally, like this is your business. This is your business. You sell, whether you like it or not, you sell these products. You are a salesperson and it's your business to make sure that you have the knowledge of the products, not just the what, but the why and the how, all those kinds of things. Um, it's really, really important and why they are so amazing. Because trust me, and a, a, quite a few of you, you will agree on me with me here that if you make it your business to know your products and get your knowledge, up there, learn the products, understand the products, you will never, ever, ever hear it's expensive again. You'll never hear it. You will never hear anyone saying it's expensive because your knowledge will add so much value, so, so much value to the products. People will be, um, you will understand why, like we have got the best quality products. Like they're not there's, we all say some might make it cheaper, but no one makes it better. We're not interested in being the cheapest. We're interested in being the best. That's what Sense is all about. They are not interested in competing with anyone else. They are just interested in making their most incredible products that stand alone and they are absolutely out of this world. So if you care enough to learn about your products, okay, I mean, imagine how, like, if you went into a, um, a shop and even anything simple like buying a carpet and the person speaking to you had no like knowledge of like anything like oh what's the best carpet for a haul or this or that it's your job to know your products it's your job to know how to recommend and what to um what you know what the great selling points for everything is it's really important and your knowledge adds so much value and it lets your um audience trust you they will trust you if they know that you have taken the time to learn and you care enough to learn. Okay, so I am um, going to kick off tonight. Um, I'm going to kick off with a little bit about diffusers. Me and Gemma kind of sharing diffusers, but I'm kicking off with a little bit about diffusers. So um, there is a, I'm not going into too much de depth because there is a diffuser training on my, I know there is on Team Diamond, and um, I'm not sure if there was on any of the other team pages, but there's definitely one on Team Diamond. It's um, about all about diffusers and why they're so amazing. So I'm not going to go into so, too much detail about them. But um, one thing, what have I written there? Okay, yeah. One thing I would say is the diffuser market is booming. And use the chat to say, be honest, has anyone not shared diffusers yet? Has anyone not shared them yet? Or does anyone avoid sharing them? Okay. What are you doing? It's a gold mine. <laughs> the diffuser market is absolutely booming. Me and Jen could probably share this, like do it as a bit of a conversation, but the diffuser market is absolutely <laughs> booming, guys. There is a massive market out there for us. Put in the chat why you are not sharing our diffusers. What scares you? Because is it the price? Is it the price? <laughs> you asked. Oh, I read you asked your eyebrow at the price. Okay. Okay. I so, totally get it. I really do. But honestly, once you've got the knowledge of how our diffusers work, you don't even have to worry about the price. They sell themselves. 
that's it. Someone saying I didn't get any interest, so I don't share them. It takes time. And of course, it takes time. Absolutely. So why would you buy a sensory diffuser when you can get one from Amazon for 35 quid? Why would you do that? Do you understand that? Do you realize why our diffusers stand above everything, anything? There is nothing, nothing more aesthetically pleasing than our diffusers. And all the other diffusers have a really clinical look to them. There is no other diffuser on the market that's the aesthetic. This is just like the first point. There is no other diffusers that have the, um, the shades that ours have and the design concept with the pedestal and the shade. And they are so aesthetically pleasing. You're not just buying the technology, you're buying like a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, and it looks so like it's an absolute showstopper. Like they are true showstoppers. Um, but I'm not, again, I'm not going into too much details, but the shit, because there is a full training and it's, I really do suggest you watch it because it's actually quite interesting to know a bit about the background of the development of our diffusers. Um, but the sheer technology that's in the pedestal is head and shoulders above anything, anything else on the market. There is nothing on the market that has that comes anywhere close to our diffusers um it's actually the factory that designed that worked with sensi to design our diffusers won an award on innovation because it is so different to anything else and so stand like because it stands so much above um okay what have i written there okay so that has 16 light settings does that amazon one have 16 light settings it's safe because it auto shuts off when it runs out of water when the pedestal runs out of water it auto shuts off um there is no um danger there's absolutely no danger that it's going to overheat or anything like that because it will shut off as soon as the water's run out you do not need distilled water because it's um already the it, the technology the polymer disc that that's what vibrates and that's what creates the mist is is covered in polymer and it means it will never ever ever corrode it's absolutely indestructible and the main selling thing that i think really makes us stand above anything else is that lifetime warranty that lifetime warranty is worth hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds um, they it absolutely makes it so more valuable I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever tried returning a product to um, any company for it that's claimed that they have a lifetime manufacturing warranty. It is a manufacturing warranty. It's not like if you drop it on the floor or if you do something that like if you stick it in your dishwasher or something like that, then obviously it's not going to be covered. But it, for a manufacturing warranty, I don't, if you guys have ever tried returning a product, um, you will so lisa just says silly question can you leave them on overnight yes you can i have one on in my daughter's bedroom every single night with twinkle twinkle oil in when it's run out of water it just turns off um but if you've ever tried returning a product to another company it's absolute hell like they make you have to jump through hoops you have to fill forms in you have to speak to this person and you have to wait and then you have to provide this provide a receipt provide that since you make it so easy to return a product so easy if there's anything um that's an issue with your product with your product and it's a manufacturing issue sensi will replace it like that they make it completely fuss free so you right Gemma's going to talk a bit about how to sell diffusers but that was just a little bit of education i wanted to give on me right yeah go. <laughs> um yeah so as tam said once you've got the knowledge of how it works um they really do sell themselves um just having the lifetime warranty, that is gold. That is absolute gold. You're not going to get another company that sells diffusers like we've got anyway. And for customers to know that they've got a lifetime warranty with that diffuser, you can't put a price on that. You can't. You, you're going to pay it out for that diffuser and you have got that for life because it's got the lifetime warranty. So that is a massive selling point. And that is what sells them for me all day long. Um, you don't need to know the ins and outs of the product there is a lot to learn so if you're quite new don't worry just know the basics um but stressing the lifetime warranty and the fact that there is no other diffuser like ours on the current market that is enough to make people want to stop you and talk to you and want to know more about it um best advice is buy one um, or get it with your hosha rolls because once you've got one you can show it off to your customers um rave about it 
go live on your social media and just show everyone how pretty it is, show everyone what it does. And another top tip, make sure you learn how to use it before you go live. Um, one of my amazing teamies, absolutely adora, she got her first diffuser last week, sell it all up, went live in her customer group, didn't know how to use it. So that flopped a little bit. So make sure you have a little play around with it and you work out what you're doing because it's got for so many different settings. Um, and yeah, show it off. If you get a new shade, show it off. Don't forget, we've got all those different shades you can buy for them as well. Um, and put it in a borrow bag. Okay, it's a lot of money, but that is the best investment that you'll make is to get a diffuser borrow bag because once people try it, um, they'll realize just how amazing it is and they'll want to buy it. I've got two diffuser borrow bags and they are pretty much out all of the time and it gets me diffuser sales all of the time. I've not had one diffuser borrow bag back that hasn't had a diffuser sale because once people try it and they realize how amazing it is, they'll want it. Um, when people say to me, what's the difference between a diffuser and a warmer? There is no comparison. They both do completely different things. So one of the ways that I describe um, the difference is when you cook bacon in the kitchen and you get that horrible lingering bacon smell once you've had your bacon sarnie, with a warmer, it will disguise the scent. With a diffuser, it purifies the air and it gets rid of that smell completely. Um, when you get that humidity feel when it's hot in the summer, stick your diffuser on because it because of what it does to the air, that humid feeling kind of goes. Um, but to explain that to a customer is a little bit more difficult than saying try it, hence give them a borrow bag. Um, and if they ask you a question about a diffuser, always be ready for an answer. Um, if you're not sure or not, so make sure you do your research on the workstation first or asking your director's group, just so that you're gonna give your customer the correct answer because you wanna make sure that they're getting all of the information that they need to know um, about this product. But like I say, stress about that lifetime warranty because it really, really is gold. Um, if you think it's too expensive to buy, don't buy it. Do not use your half prices either because a lot of people go, oh, I'll just use my half price. No, do not use your half price because you do not get PRV on that other half price. Make sure you either save up all your host rewards um, or buy it because you want the PRV or you want to get it for nothing. If a customer turns around and says to you, right, I really want a diffuser, but I cannot afford to pay that, you tell them to host a party, right? Host a party and we'll get you one for free with the credit or we'll get you at half price. Um, so there's plenty of ways that you can sell it. Um, just make sure you've, you research it and you've got the knowledge of it. And if you haven't got a diffuser and you've not been sharing the diffusers, go and share them and make sure you get yourself one. Put it on your wish list because they honestly are a market on their own and they are absolute gold. They really are. Um, I hope that's helped. Anyone got any questions before I pass over to Jim? Right, okay. I'll leave you in the hands of Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Hi, everyone. I was just about to say, hi, Jim. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> okay, so um, you'll have to bear with me. I've got a lot to say, so I'm going to talk really, really fast. But if you've got any questions, if you want me to repeat anything or go over anything, just pop it in the comments um, and I can come back and reply once my bit is done. So I'm going to talk to you about um, warmers, fan products and fragrance flowers. So first of all, let's talk, talk about the warmers. Um, we, we, all, we all have a warmer. We get one in the kit. Um, but what makes our warmers different to tea light burners, different to candles? I see my job as sharing Sensi and showing people why they should invest their hard earned money in a warmer that costs, say, £36 rather than spending £3 on a candle they can get from Audi. So every time I think about the content that I'm sharing on social media, every time when I think about when I'm talking to people about Sensi, that is what is in the forefront of my mind, showing them why they should invest their hard earned cash in Sensi and, and stop buying those three pound candles in the, candles in the supermarket. So first of all, um, they are stunning. There is nothing out there like Sensi. Like Tam said in the introduction, 
Sensi aren't concerned about being the cheapest, they're concerned with being the best. And our products, the attention to detail, the craftsmanship, um, they are, a lot of them are, hand, I think probably all of them are handmade. I know each warmer has got a different way that they're made, a different process of how they make them, but they're all beautiful. There is, There are so many designs. Um, we have an amazing team at Home Office that um, their, their job is to keep an eye on what's trending so we can be at the forefront of trends all the time. There is something for every single style, decor, color, color room. There is just something for everybody. We must have, I, can't, I couldn't even count how many warmers, maybe 80 warmers now. So that's one USP, which is unique selling point. Another one is the different types of warmers we do. So um, get to know which warmers do, I mean, they all do the same thing, but which how each warmer works. So we have element warmers, uh, like Little Garden, Succulent, uh, the Love Warmer. They have an element plate under the dish and that's what warms the wax. We also have the light bulb warmers, um, which is uh, warmers like Cream Diamond, Obsidian, uh, fabulous feathers, is that what it was called? Um, so they take uh, bulbs and they all take different wattage bulbs. So get to learn that. And if you're ever stuck, I haven't got a catalog, if you're ever stuck and you don't know what bulb goes in what warmer, grab a catalog, go to the last page and open up the bit at the back of the catalog, you know, that opens up like the product sheet and under every single warmer, it will show you what bulb you need, okay? The other, one of the main reasons, and actually the, the reason I started using Sensi and the reason I joined Sensi for me was the safety. It's just non-comparable. Um, I was an absolute sod for leaving a candle on. Um, I used to go to bed and then I'd be just about to drop off to sleep. And I'd think, oh my God, I've left the candle on. I have to run downstairs and blow it out. Um, and my son, who's got special needs, when I, I used to collect jar candles, um, and when I had them on in the lounge, I, I caught him once. I walked in from the kitchen and he was trying to catch the flame in his fingers. So from that day, I never had a candle in my house. Um, and when I saw Scentsy, um, I didn't quite get it. Um, and it was only when I actually bought one and it arrived that I, that I kind of understood what it did. Um, but for me, it was the safety. We know that it, there's no flame. We know that it's, um, it's energy efficient. It's the same as having a lamp on. You can leave it on and leave it unattended. You don't have to worry about there being a naked flame in your house. Um, and it's safe around children and pets. Obviously, we know that the wax only warms to about body temperature. So if the wax is to be spilt um, on uh, skin or even on furniture, um, it's not gonna burn, it's not gonna harm you. Um, the other thing I just wanna to touch on is obviously we have just covered the lifetime guarantee with the diffusers. But that's on all warmers, including mini warmers as well. Um, and yeah, there is just nothing else like our warmers. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm really rushing through. I've got so much to say and I'm really conscious of the time. So I'm going to quickly move on to our fan product. So we have three fan products. We have uh, a, our Scentsy Go, and there's actually two kinds of Scentsy Goes. I'll go on to that in a minute. We have wall fans and we have uh, mini USBs. So first of all, let's talk about Scentsy Go. Again, I'm not going to go into it too much there it, the details are all on the product training guide which you can find on your workstation you also should have got a copy in your kit um, so I won't go too much into the sense to go but the idea is that it's a heatless flameless waxless portable rechargeable fragrance system so you can literally take your sense to go anywhere if you can meet on the train, if you go camping, if you've got a caravan, if you want to take it to the office, if you want to use it in the bathroom or the loo, um, anywhere where you don't have a plug or anywhere that you want to take them on the go with you. Um, it has an eco mode, so you, I'm not sure of the amount of hours it lasts, but it has an eco mode, so you can uh, have it on constant or intermittent. Um, we also have the Sensi Go and the Sensi Solid. So the Sensi Go has the light and it has a rainbow cycle of six colours. And the Sensi Solid, which is a, a slightly cheaper version, um, that is, as it says, just solid, no lights. Um, and as I said, that's slightly cheaper. Um, wall fans are one of the newer products. Um, they are, they look like a mini warmer. Uh, they, they kind of have the same concept as a mini warmer. They have no lead, they plug straight into the wall. Um, but what their USP is, what their selling point is, is that they are heatless, again, they are flameless and they are waxless. So if you have high traffic areas like hallways, landings, low plug sockets where a mini warmer can get knocked around by a dog's tail or feral children running around like my kids, 
um, they are really great for that. No wax spillages, no heat, um, and all the fragrance. So they're also actually really robust. They're made from like an acrylic, so um, they're not as delicate as our mini warmers that are made of ceramic and glass. That's another good selling point of those as well. Um, USB mini fans, again, that's a, that's a relatively new product. Again, all, these, all this will be in your um, product training guide, but these are the little USB flowers. They look like little flowers, don't they? And they plug into any USB port. Um, so you can take them to the office and plug them in your computer. You can also, if you've got, um, I think most cars now have like a USB port, or if they don't have a USB port, you can get like an adapter that means you can plug the USB into it. Again, they're the same, same technology. There is an internal fan in there. You use a sensor pod in there. You just pop that in the top, turn it on, and the internal fan will blast through the air, through the pod, and fragrance your space. So again, another heatless, flameless, waxless product. And that is the U that is the USP. That is what I use to market our fan products. Let me have a sip of water. I feel like I'm racing through this. Mm. So my last one is our fragrance flowers. And I wish I'd bought them so I could actually like show you and give you a little demo. Our fragrance flowers. So again, what I do when I market these, when I think about how I'm going to market each product we do, I think of the, US, um, the USP, the unique selling point. What makes our Sensi product different to what they can get down Tesco's, different to what they can get down B&M, okay? So our fragrance flowers, for me, I think they are very, very reasonably, reasonably priced. Um, I used to buy reed diffusers before I used Scentsy, um, and I used to pay upwards of 30 quid for mine. And I used to smell them for about two days and then I spend the next month turning the sticks up and down um, wiping up the oil that I'd, I'd spilt from doing that with the sticks and it ruining my, ruining my um, uh, the, like the, the tarnish on the, the varnish on the um, furniture. I did that. Um, so what makes them different? The flower design um, is actually specifically designed to disperse the fragrance in a better way and more effective way than, than sticks, than the re-diffuser sticks. Um, the, the flower is actually handmade from wood. They feel like fabric, but it's actually handmade from solar wood in an Indian village. I don't know the name of the village actually, but I think there is a video on YouTube that actually shows how they're made. So that's always worth going to have a look at and also sharing in your customer group as well. They last at least 60 days, but if you've had a fragrance flower, which I hope you all have, um, you'll know that they last far longer than that. I get really annoyed with mine because I just want to try all the scents. So I remember when we had iridescent pearl and watermelon tangerine come in, I had two on the go, one in my bathroom, one in the downstairs loo. And they, I, honestly, I think sometimes they last about five months <laughs> and I get really annoyed because I want to open a new one. But they last, their, their, their scent power and the, the, how long their longevity, the amount of time they last, they absolutely last for flipping ages. So £19.50, they're an absolute bargain. They are, they're one of my best sellers. My customers absolutely love them. And again, with the USP, what, what, do, I want to, what do I want to share with these fragrance houses? What, what is, what's going to make somebody invest their money in it? And for me, it's thinking about those areas where you want fragrance, but you've got you haven't got a socket for a Sensi warmer. Um, so porches, uh, some hallways, um, sometimes you want it in the kitchen, like on a window still, because you've got your kettle and whatever else plugged in, uh, downstairs loo, bathroom, office, um, yeah, anywhere that you haven't got a plug socket. I think that's me done. I'm really sorry that I spoke really fast, but I was just so conscious that I had a lot to say. But if you have got any questions, uh, yeah, caravans as well. My customers absolutely love mini warmers for caravans. I sell a ton to my um, one of my customers who's like an owner on a caravan park, um, and she she buys them for her friends. So yeah, I think I've covered everything. I'm sorry I was there. Sorry I was going so fast. Who am I going to next? Sorry, I haven't written it down. Who's after me? I'm on the screen, so I think it's me. Oh, let's go, Jenna. You go <laughs> for know. it. I don't mind jumping the gun. I hate waiting until the end. I want to get it over with. You right. go for it, girl. So I haven't got a lot to talk about. I'm talking about wax. Um, and we all sell loads of wax. 
but we need to know about wax so when people come and say well what makes your wax so good we need to be able to tell them so i've actually been on the workstation i've been on the faqs it's all there you just type in sensi wax and it tells you everything you need to know um so it says that sensi uses synthetic and naturally um quick quick right sorry child's going to bed he's put me off right um and naturally derived fragrance oils to achieve the highest quality and the longest lasting bar each one of our scentsy wax cubes should give you eight to ten hours of fragrance some last a lot longer than that i mean i've got everyone who knows me knows i love um alice in wonderland we're all mad here that's my favorite scent ever i can put that on and smell it for days um, that definitely lasts longer than eight hours. And if you can tell people, if they want a really strong smelling scent, you need to tell them which ones are going to last that long. Um, we find, myself and a lot of my customers, they find that Honeymoon Hideaway, as beautiful as it is, that's really subtle. So if someone says, oh, I've got a really big room, I don't recommend that one. You have to know which fragrances last and which are better for big rooms, better for small rooms. Um, you've got to know your fragrances. I've gone off on one now. Um, and they're made from high quality paraffin, paraffin wax. And if you um, if you look in your warmer, you'll see um, there's a little number in there. Most of them, a lot of the big warmers say four, and that's the recommended amount of cubes to use. I never put four cubes in a warmer. Um, I do like one, maybe two if I'm if I'm feeling flush. <laughs> um, and um, but when customers say, what's this number on the dish? You need to be able to tell them and then they can put more or less in depending on how strong, not how strong, but their personal preference. Um, we've got more than 80 fragrances available. Our waxes use 40% more, less is more sometimes. Um, yeah, but what you need to do as well, make sure your customers know to clean out their old wax before you put in the new wax. There is a scientific reason, but it confuses me. So I just say it's like adding fizzy Coke to flat Coke, not gonna do any good. Um, but we use 40% more fragrance oil than other leading brands. And what I do when I'm doing my orders, I tend to dilute it. There we go, thanks Pam. <laughs> that wasn't that scientific. I could have worked that out, couldn't I? Um, when it, lost it now, oh yeah, so when I'm sampling, I, I tend to go for fragrances that I like, oh I like that one, I like that one, I like that one, I like that one, what I've done now, I'm working my way through the catalogue, and when I order samples to, um, I'm trying not to read the back because it puts me off, sorry um when i'm ordering samples now to wax bars to sample i'm starting to tick them off as i go through the catalog so if i'm getting like a six pack i'll get one from fruity one from fresh one from citrus so that i'm giving my customers more and not just what i personally like and then you need to let them know as well if you give them a bar of luna and they love it let them know that it's available in a car bar a scent circle um, Scentsy Fresh, Washing, let them know what their favourite wax is available in. And also, my customers love this one, it's how to store your wax. So you need to make sure, tell your customers to store your wax flat. Because of all the fragrance oils, they're going to drip down to the bottom of the cube over time. So if you're standing your bars up like that, it's going to go from the top cubes right down to the bottom. Um, so they'll be full of fragrance and your top cubes won't be so much. So always store them flat and if I've missed anything it's all on the FAQs on workstation and I'm handing over to Vicky that was short and sweet thank you mine will be short and sweet as well um so I am talking about body and basically the best way to um the best way that's going to help you sell Scentsy products is to use them. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I really should have made a bit more effort. Um, if you're not using Scentsy products, and then you're probably going to struggle to sell them. Um, it's a fact. Like Jem said earlier, if you've got a diffuser and you're using it, you know how to use it, you can show it off to your customers, show it in your customer group, and people see you using it. Um, 
then they're going to use it as well. They're going <laughs> to... I know what you're doing, Tab. Um, at least I'm comfortable. Um, they're going to want to use it as well. So it's showing people that they can, that like how you use the products. That is the best way to learn about the products is to use them. I've been thrown, sorry guys. Um, so, I mean, with the body products, if you've not used them, and then you need to, there's shower gel out there that I know people pay 22, 23 pound for a bottle. So when you're looking at ours and you think, oh, 11 quid, that's expensive. Or your customers are thinking, well, 11 pounds expensive. I can get it for a quid in B&M. And then it's, you've got to talk about what's in the shower gel and why it's marked at 11 pound. It's a luxury product. People go out and they'll pay 23 pound for a bottle of shower gel, the same size. Um, but if you're using it, you'll know you can, you only need a pea size amount. Well, I do. You need a pea size amount. It lathers up really well. The the smell is so long lasting. It it lasts on your body for ages. Even like my husband before, he's even been like, "Where's the sensitive shower gel?" And like, oh, I've got out the shower, and he's like, "What's that smell?" And he wants to use the same. And if you, like sharing these stories in your customer groups is going to help you sell these products. So using the products is the best way to help you sell them and get to know them. Um, the, and uh, there's a skincare, you can buy it over the counter in boots from a particular skincare company. £23 for a bottle, for a tube of hand cream, £23. Again, ours is £11. It's a luxury product. You need to use it. If you've used it, you'll know it, it leaves your hands feeling like silk. It is amazing. The hand wash, again, you need one pump. It's super firmy. It lathers up really well, really like, you know, long lasting smell. Again, it's a luxury product. People pay a lot more money for the same kind of standards. Um, just do some research and trust me, like if you even just Google it, um, you'll see. The bath soak, the bath soak is amazing. Even my kids, I've got a two-year-old and even he says like, Sensi bath, my kids love it. My full family love the bath soak. Um, it really is amazing. It's got the Epsom salts, the Himalayan, so Himalayan salts, really, really good luxury products. And the only way that you're gonna really get to know the products is if you're using them yourself. And that's what your host credits can really be used for. Host credits and half prices. I know it's nice to get the warmer you want or get the oils you want or get the wax you want, whatever. But if you just look round and look what you're short on, that the stuff that you're not really using, just put some credits aside or save up or use your half prices and just get those products that you're not fully using. Because I guarantee once you start using them and you start understanding them and you start getting to know them, it will be so much easier. You'll start selling them. Um, and another thing as well is get like a body bag. No, not a body bag. Um, Jesus. Uh, I found myself like a body borrow bag. Get a body borrow bag. Ah, not a body bag because that's rank. Get a body borrow bag on the go. You can get... Um, Jeez, you can get samples even if you can't, if you know, a moisture medley, get a moisture medley with your app prices, get it with your credit. And I'm uh, sweating, I'm gonna have to undress, but I ain't got a bra on. <laughs> right, get a, get a moisture medley with your credits or your half prices, whatever, get a moisture medley, bang it in a nice bag or a basket and get it out there, get a a borrow a bag with body products out there and that's the best way people need people need to try the products so get them out there you need to be using them and they need to be using them i'm going to leave it there you can also buy sample of body products on success star so send them out with your samples as well jenny over to you how can i follow body bags for god's sakes what are you doing to us right okay honestly i'm crying right okay so i'm going to talk to you first off about laundry um so i come into sensi my first products i ever got with sensi was laundry products um there is a bit of a story behind it i'm not going to bore you with the details but i particularly was looking for a line of body products that were uh, sorry body products of laundry products that was for a washing machine that has a HE rating. Now the HE rating is a high efficiency washer. So it means it uses less electricity, it uses less um, water and it creates the more suds. So you get a better cleaning from using less energy. So with everything that's coming out now, obviously energy efficiency is key. You know, everybody's talking about how much water they're using, how much electricity they're using. So everybody's wanting something that uses less. 
the same with like a half load wash so obviously you do a half load wash because you're looking to just do a quick bit of a bit, few bits and pieces you need but you're not wanting to use a lot of product so these are fantastic for it and um, that is one of the USP's unique selling points of the laundry range that it is all HE rated. Um, and if anybody buys a washing machine that has a HE rating on it, they are told not to use anything that isn't. So um, it just doesn't doesn't set up right. Our laundry liquid in particular is extremely highly concentrated. That big bottle that you get, you only need two squirts of that for a small load and only four squirts for a big load. And when you think of our washing machines, like big washing machines are what, nine, 10 kilos. So four squirts of that to do a 10 kilo wash is next to nothing. I mean, I know the first few times I used it, I looked at it and I was like, well, that's not enough. And I put extras in. That actually doesn't clean the product better. If anything, it doesn't work quite as well. You need to keep to those small amounts that it does stay on the bottle and you'll get an amazing cleaning experience from it. Obviously, we have the most amazing fragrances. I don't even need to tell you that, guys. You guys know that. Um, jammy time, I always recommend to anybody that is looking for that more spa experience, whether that's for their bedding and towels or, or whatever. Um, and then I'll always suggest a daytime liquid as well. If people are sort of, they're a little bit on the fence price-wise or whatever, I just recommend the washer whiffs. So the washer whiffs is basically the sensi alternative to um, an unstoppable just a scent booster really in effect um and then by the time they've tried that product they can they can feel the difference in their clothing they can smell the difference in their clothing and it's it will get them hooked um also you've got um the scent soft which obviously uh, reduces the static in your washing machine same as any other um softener will do but it doesn't leave that film on your clothes like you'll find from others um it it's also both the liquid and the soft have the pump. So for me, um, obviously, if you're using, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but if you're using a powder, you'll do your scoops and everything else. And afterwards, you've got it on your hands. You've got that smell on your hands. You, if you've got sensitive skin, it can irritate your skin because it's concentrated on there. And with liquids, you pour it out, you tip it up, and you always get that annoying little dribble that drives me freaking insane, I have to clean it before I put it back in the cupboard because otherwise it's gonna make a mess. With this, it's just a pump, you count your pumps, you're done. There's no mess or anything like that. Um, obviously as well in the laundry liquid range, which we don't necessarily consider to be laundry, but it is, is the Sensi Fresh product, okay? Really, really highly concentrated. Again, a couple of squirts can do any fabric that you are not e able to wash easily, whether that's your curtains, whether that's your mattress, your duvet. The first thing I do when I'm changing my bed, strip everything off, I throw the duvet over the banisters and I'll give it a few sprays. And that not only will that refragrance my duvet, but the excess that's going around is covering my carpets, covering downstairs, and my house smells awesome. I've had people come around my house and I haven't done any cleaning for a long time. And they come in after I'm doing the washing and they'll go, oh my God, your house smells so clean. I'm like, oh, thank you. Yeah, I spent weeks cleaning. Um, obviously I did not. If you're not quite sure about how to make samples and stuff, obviously some people, you haven't got the funds and stuff to do, like the bottles and sending it all off and some things can leak. And I've had that, it's really, really annoying. Um, a brilliant way to get samples out of that product is even if you've got just got the tester sachets from your kit or even just a washer with product, you can grab some really, really small little flannels or even a pillowcase and cut it up, wash it in that product, put it in a little seal bag, mark it of what it is, and then people can smell what it's going to do to their product. So it's a really, really easy way to be really economical financially and be able to get those products out. So da, 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 that covers everything. Oh, the washer whisk as well. When you're using the washer whisk in your washing machine, not only is it gonna do your, um, your fabrics and everything else, but if you've got a front loading washing machine with the door opens out, if you get that smell in the, in the ring on the rubber, which we all do get, that will help cover that smell as well. So it's just a little added bonus. And um, the other product I'm gonna to talk to you about is whiff boxes. Um, you guys know I love a whiff box. It's the way I get everybody into club. I freaking love them. Um, I'm not going to talk about club though, but obviously get it into a club. You can get 10% off and you'll get a customer in there. It's brilliant. Um, it's a fantastic way to introduce your customers to products that aren't just wax. They've got the wax bar in there. They're going to get a cup tester, which the cup tester is the equivalent of a third of a bar of wax. So it's a really, really generous size of a sample. It's going to give them that 
sneak peek of what's coming next month. So everybody wants that exclusivity, give that to them. Um, but you're going to get other products in there. And obviously we don't know what's coming in. So at the minute we've got um, a soft, uh, sorry, we've got a, a Scentsy Soak in there. We've got a scent pack in there. We've got a circle in there. And then obviously we've got other products. Um, and a hand cream as well is in there at the moment. So they're trying two body products. They're trying a scent pack. They're trying a circle and they've got their waxes as well. So there's a very great range of what we're covering in the catalog in that box for £36. And the regular price on those individual items is 45. So they're making a great saving in there as well. And um, you're always guaranteed that saving as well. It's usually around that sort of figure. Sometimes it's more. I remember there was a box that came in the beginning of the last year and it had the mini fans in it and it was an insane saving. Honestly, I think everybody just sold them like crazy. It was mental. Um, I particularly, when mine comes in, I go live straight away. I make a point of it. Um, show everybody how excited I am about my whiff box, show everybody what's in there, um, all the different products and what, how to use them, what to do. I give them a little sniff session of the new scent of the month as well so they know what's coming. Um, and I just, you know, if you don't have the exact items, if you're not getting a whiff box, most of us have got some bits and pieces laying around. Fake it. Honestly, fake it. You know, you can sit there with a, a, a bag of soap and go, you know, items do vary. This is what I got in mind. They don't have to know that you haven't had one. You know, fake it. Um, and subscription boxes at the minute, they're the rage. You know, um, I've just had my Freddie Flowers delivered today. Thank you, Gemma Webb and Gemma Glover. Thank you very much for that recommendation. Um, you know, you've got Fab Fit Fun. You've got Look Fantastic, Glossy Box, Birch Box, Simply Cook, The Gin Club. They're all subscription boxes, okay? Sensi is no different. And explain that to them. This is a subscription box. You can have it monthly or bi-monthly. Again, that sort of leads into that Sensi Club. Um, you can suggest to your customers to split them up as well. So there's a few items in there that they're not particularly interested in. Thinking of this Sensi Soak and the body products, they're fantastic little gifts. Um, and it sort of leads into something else. Something when I first joined, I saw Heidi actually did a split on them, on the mystery, but on the whiff boxes and did them into mystery bags. I think it was a clean box at the time. So it was like two products for 18 pound here, two products for 18 pound here and split the samples and it was brilliant. Um, this one you can do, do the, well, the wax as the scent of the month with the 10% off, it's 6 to 52. You can do the soak and the hand cream at 1950. And then do this uh, and just call that like a body care or a self-care set or something like that. And the circle and the scent pack, you can do that as a car set, a back to the gym set, a linen cupboard, a clean pack, whatever you want. And you can just do that for a tenner and you've got your money back automatically. So that is me, Saza. It is over to you. I'm sorry about that. Wait, let me unmute myself then. Hi everyone. Uh, so I'm here tonight to talk about the kids range and the pets range for you. Now the kids range for me personally is an easy sell. I have four girls technically in the house quite often. There's my um, eight year old twins. Then I've got my seven year old stepdaughter that we have every weekend. And I have my six, almost six year old now. So they go absolutely mad for the kids' products. They love them. There isn't one that we don't own ever because my girls will never let me live me down if we don't buy it. Um, so they are an easy sell. And the kids are what I market that with. Every time a delivery comes, the kids themselves are like overly confident and so sassy. I mean, like Amy Lloyd, she'd probably tell you in chat as one of my customers. Most They sell them off pure sass. They're, they're amazing. So the minute a product comes, they're like, mommy, let's go live and show them off. And... I do, I just let them have free reign to do it and they sell them for me. They're so, so, so funny and amusing with it. It's unreal and it gets people up. So I do really well off the Disney buddies, off the buddies, off the Scentsy friends, because again, I have girls and all the friends are um, more like dolls really, aren't they? That doesn't mean to say that boys can't have them. Plenty of boys play with dolls, but they are sort of ideally a girly market, so to speak. Um, and it's just a case of, I just make sure that I'm armed with the knowledge that, you know, most of the kids' products are, are advised to last for 30 days. So the buddy clips and the bitty buddies, when we get that limited, the limited editions on those, uh, the scent packs themselves, they're advised to be for 30 days, even though we know ourselves that they, they last a hell of a lot longer. Um, and then it's just knowing that there are like 36 cents that we do in main sense for the scent packs. Uh, and then we have four additional Disney and license sense as well. If you can really sort of things off and sound what, you know, you sound what, you, 
you know what you've said oh god I don't even know what I sound like now, do I? But you know what I mean? If you if you're armed with that knowledge, you know, it gives your customers confidence that you know about the products. And then the other little things like the, you know, there's 1.5 ounces of fragrance beads in your buddy clips, every all the little finer details like that you can find in your FAQs on Workstation or from your product training guides as well. Uh, so that's it basically if you've got kids and you're getting those kids products get them in on the game because people love to see it especially live they love interacting with kids live it's a massive massive seller and then now the pets products now I did see earlier in the chat on the diffuser one somebody went well I can't sell a diffuser I don't own one I can't remember who it was but a name did flash up saying it now personally I don't own pets at all because I'm allergic to fur and yet I still go out there and I sell the pet products and again, it's just it's just a case of being armed with that knowledge. So uh, if my customers ask me about the pet products, because I can't show them off in my home because I don't have the pets, I'm just honest with my customers, I don't have them because I'm allergic to the fur on dogs and cats. That's the only reason. So I will work it from sample, pl uh, sample pack view. I, I get samples out all the time. I have um, the pet products that I've used on those credits that I've hired in to get a borrow basket out so I can say, well, if you've got a dog, if you try them for me, then give me a review. And I market them that way. And then I just get on with the knowledge so that when they're asking me questions about what goes into them, you know, each dog product, while they have indi individual ingredients that make up the scent for them, they're all, they all have a base of clodial oatmeal, aloe, vitamin E, and yeah, go on, it's sunflower oil, nearly went off the top of my head there. And the, that's their base because that the colonial oatmeal especially um it is designed the process that makes it colonial brings out the bran in it which has all the softening and um cleansing qualities in the oatmeal itself it brings them forward which is why they're designed for cleaning basically and nourishing skin for a soft shiny coat on your pets um, now, because they use these natural ingredients as a base, they are vegan free, but because it's clodial, it's non-organic. And also one thing you do have to be aware of as well, because it has oatmeal, they, it's a gluten allergen as well. And some pet owners will be highly allergic to gluten. Some it's just consuming it, gluten-free diets. Some can actually have it from skin contact. So if they do have a gluten allergy, it's best telling them to do a skin patch test on their own skin as well as the dogs before actually attempting to use the products. That's always handy to know. Uh, and then it's things like just make sure you know what six scents that it comes in. So the coconut milk and an aloe, the onion and chamomile, the orange zest and nectar, the oatmeal and aloe, shea and sweet pea and shea, sorry, and tea tree and peppermint. As long as you can sort of get there and spout it off with confidence, then your customers are going to have confidence in you. Um, and that's about it really. And the only other thing you need to know with the pet products is that they're all made in the USA and they weren't tested on animals until they were actually signed off by leading veterinarians in the USA as being regarded as generally safe for pet use. And that's it really, new pet products. Um, I do have samples of pet product, of my pet sample packs that I can post in team and team gang and afterwards if people want to see them but i know from the last couple of days on there a lot of people have shown different variations of pet samples anyway so you've got general ideas on them and it's one of the products in Sensi at the moment that we don't have the qr codes for are the pet products so it is more advised that you use the labels from the actual sample group for them as well when sampling and that's it short and sweet i'll hand you over to debbie now that's it. Hello. Um, so I'm going to quickly talk to you about LTO, so limited time offers. Um, so um, LTOs can be massive business. They, well, they are massive business. They're really, really good for your business, but they can also be quite scary, particularly if you are quite new to Sensi and you've perhaps not done one before, or you've done your first one quite early on and it didn't quite go to plan. You know, they, they can be quite worrying, but they can be massive for your business as well. So we haven't always had this amount of limited time offers like we have now. So going back to pre-pandemic, we, we didn't have them all that often. I would say average maybe once a month, maybe more. Somebody might tell me different, but that's how I remember it. Um, and we didn't really have the sellouts like we have now. So I think the fastest sellout pre-pandemic that I ever knew was um, probably three months into my business. We had 
um, Calypso the Unicorn um, come out and that lasted four hours. And that was just huge at that time. That was like something people couldn't believe. But obviously if you fast forward to now um, and the growth we've had, it is just insane, but it is huge, huge business. And I've not actually sat and worked it out, but I would probably say maybe about 60 to 70% of my business each month is based now on LTOs because I've had customers that have been with me for quite a while. They've perhaps tried all the samples. They've got all of the scents they could possibly want, all the warmers they want in their house, all the extras. They've gone into the laundry and all the rest of it. LTOs give people something fresh to focus on and give them something new to get excited about because the catalogs are great, but they last six months. And when people have got everything they want from that catalog, they need something new to focus on to keep them interested, to keep them excited. So like I say, they can be really, really, big, really big business. Um, you can start advertising limited time offers as soon as they hit the workstation news tab. So it's all become official and we have all of the information. You just need to choose sometimes when to do that carefully. So if there's something else coming up between like a restock, for example. So I wouldn't have advertised any of Monday stuff before tonight's restock and before the 10 anniversary barbender because I want my customers to be focusing on that first and then I will start advertising that after. So you just need to plan when you're going to start advertising those with what matters most to your business at that time okay and we're all different um you don't have to advertise ltos um you don't have to take part in them if you don't want to it's entirely your choice it's your business but it is big business is a big deal and it's a huge prv boost and that is what they've been given to us for especially when we've had some of the stock issues that we've had in the catalog because of the insane amount of sales we've had it has given us new things to be able to promote so we've still got a healthy um, amount of products to be able to offer out to our customers so I would say it is really really big business and it is it is your decision but um I, you might be a bit daft not to to at least give it a try and give them a go um, and show them off to your customers some things will attract new customers to your business so um, there might be some things like Disney's a huge field there might be there's so many people out there who absolutely love Disney but have perhaps never ever come across Scentsy before. I've never really thought much about Scentsy, but bringing Disney into Scentsy brings you a whole potential new audience of customers. Now we can't go advertising in Disney fan groups, so I need to make that clear. But you know, people have referred people in or you put something on your personal profile and someone spots it, they'll tag somebody who they know will like that. So I'll just give you an example. A few weeks ago, we had the stitch format. Okay, there was somebody that was added to my group. I don't even know how they got added to my group. They must have just been sat there watching. Um, they were added to my group. She messaged me, I need stitch. I love stitch. I have to, be, have, to have that warmer. Um, she picked up her stitch warmer from me. And two days later, she joined. And then two days after that, her sister joined. And tonight, that person that joined as my front line, double promoted to lead consultant. So just from advertising that stitch warmer, we've got another person in the team. So they can't attract like new people, obviously to the business, but things like the garden collection, I had a customer who um, had, well, somebody that had been in my group had been invited to a party, never bought anything. But since that garden collection came out, she has bought every little sort of special box I've done of something. So they do attract different people and kind of flip that light bulb on for some people. You do need to be prepared for quick sellouts. So obviously we know that things can sell out really, really fast. Have, um, some ideas in your mind of what you might do if that thing sells out and you haven't been able to get it because it can happen I always set my customers expectations where they need to be I would always say like with the bars tonight I've said to people you know like it could be a quick sellout I will obviously try my very best to get that particular bar for you but are you open to me choosing something else if it's not there and they are all fine with that because I've set their expectations and they all understand that these things can happen you also have the backup with bars with Scentsy Club. So if you can't, like the, the Sleep Collection was the first collection I've never been able to get. Um, but I was able to add those to a Scentsy Club subscription. They waited maybe a week or so longer, but they still got their bars. So there is that. When it's not wax and you don't have that option, um, I know there are people in here, like a Tam's done it, I know, and a few others have done it where they've kind of missed out on something. But instead, they've been able to say, how about I create you a hamper of such and such, um, would that do and you know it's about trying to retain that PRV that you would have had by offering something amazing to that customer to make up for the fact that they haven't been able to get that thing okay um, so in terms of preparing for it you need to make sure we quite often have people say they missed out but you know there will be people that haven't been online at the right time to get it so if something's going to launch at seven o'clock and we need to be in the queue from 6 56 um, it goes uh, live at 7.15 and they've not tried to get onto a 7.30 and something's gone. 
then there's not a lot we can do about that. You know, you really need to be prepared and be ready and be ready for that Q system to kick in to stand your best chance of trying to get them. Um, one, well, just one more example I want to give is um, that there, there are consultants out there who won't touch LTOs um, at all. And that is a real shame for their business. And that can lose them customers. So somebody in my team had somebody um, approach them because their consultant didn't do limited time offers. She wanted the villains warm out. She wasn't going to put an order in for it. Um, so she went to somebody in my team, my front line, who is watching now and said, um, you know, I want to order this. So she gained a new customer because she stayed with her. She gained that new customer. She ordered and ordered and ordered. And again, she's now joined the team. So that's a huge loss to that original consultant. So really think hard about how you promote them and how you your attitude towards them really. Yes, they can be frightening, they can be worrying if you're not sure if you're gonna get it, but they can be the biggest adrenaline boost as well. And the buzz you get after you've got what you need for your customer is amazing. And the PRV obviously is the bonus. That's me done, I will hand you over to Heidi. Hello, right then. So I am gonna to speak to you about going live. Now don't all turn off and leave. <laughs> it's not that scary. I know it scares lots of people, but we've had so many um, chats about all the different product ranges tonight. And one of the best ways you can demo products is on a live. You can get so much more across on a live um, than you can in a picture. And Honestly, guys, your brain will tell you, a lot of you, your brain will tell you that the lie alive is the most scariest thing you'll ever do. But honestly, just try it because I promise you, you'll come off with such a buzz and it's really not as bad as your brain is making out. And if you can't do a live, then why don't you build up with videos or even do a live with just your hands in it? So your camera, not even on you, just do a wax change or show how a warmer works and just build up. I can tell you now, probably every single one of us here that has spoken tonight, that is in Sensi, nobody hopped on their first live and was super confident and was not nervous beforehand. Obviously, there's going to be some people that love, love doing and things like that but for the majority of us that's really scary if you'd have told me three four years ago that I'd ever be speaking in front of a group of people I would never I would I would have just laughed at you and run away very quickly it's just you've just got to build up and the more you do it the easier it becomes I promise you and it's just such a great way Facebook loves lives and videos and um, the algorithm always takes kindly to lives and videos um, so just pop on and so there's loads of little things you can do you can do a wax change if you don't want to be in it you could show how a warmer works if you don't want to be in it but please try and get in it because it does build up that know like and trust with your customers which is so important because they definitely buy into you before before they buy into our products they can see you um and so you could do things like showing how the wall fans work you can actually show them the fan and the beads in the pods um how to change your wax grab your six favorite bars or start off with one if you don't want to be on too long and just grab a bar a catalog and read out your wax description and just tell them why it's your favorite tell them which room you love it warming in but if you can do a bit more always do a six pack never do four always do a six pack and then you never know you might even sell a six pack from it as well um you could get my kids well not so much anymore actually they're a bit too cool to come on a zoom with me these days but my kids used to love going on it and sometimes it helped me it made me feel a bit more confident if they were on with me um maddie will often do sometimes if i'm just doing a bit of a showcase she'll show like where the scent pack goes in the buddies this literally you could do a live on so many of our products just grab the catalog and think right everything that you've learned tonight it can be shown and actually demonstrated over a live video um so please don't be scared and just try honestly because once you start just keep doing them and your confidence will grow i promise you and then just one little thing i wanted to show you that i do to try and get people buying other products because like most of us it's probably wax that's your best seller so i have made little stickers 
I think you can see that there. There's a little sticker here. I printed off a sheet of them and it just says, this scent comes in and then I just write. So if I'm sending out a bar of iridescent pearl and this customer is mostly a wax and warmer customer, but I know that they love iridescent pearl, I'll just write on that label, this scent also comes in fragrance flowers. And you can put those stickers on all sorts um, washer whiffs, if they're buying washer whiffs, you could tell them that scent comes in wax. I don't write the whole product in. I think somebody has made stickers before today, actually, that's listed all the products and then they stick that sticker on the product and they just highlight uh, what that product comes in. But this just works quite well for me. It's just an extra little bit of information. You could also include that in your follow up when you're messaging them to say, how did you get on with whatever? How's your warmer? If they say they loved a particular scent, you can just add in there. Oh, my gosh, that scent comes in fragrance flowers as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so, yeah, that's just a little tip that works really well for me. Right. I am handing you over to Sarah Jane. Hi everyone. Okay, so I am talking to you about um, how to sell fragrance using stories. So not stories as in Facebook media, but just um, on like the little stories, but just in terms of storytelling. So getting people to take the leap without sniffing it, because we all know that we would love a sniff button on Facebook, but unfortunately we don't have one. So um, obviously we can send out samples, we can get the test spots out there, but sometimes to reach more people, we kind of have to rely on social media. So how can you get them to um, capture that scent and go for it and take the leap without actually having the smell it, smelt it? Um, so the way to do that is to visualize um, and get them to be transported into that scent. So um, you do that by capturing their hearts and minds. So what I do, um, and it sounds really funny when I try and describe it, but I sit there, I kind of dry and drown out everything else. So I just focus on what I'm doing with the scent and um, take myself away and I just literally I close my eyes and I inhale the scent and just kind of picture where it makes me go to what memories it brings for me what scent I'm picking out first um, and I write down those notes that I kind of smell and I don't know like I'm not green fingered at all I don't know what floral I'm smelling so I'll just note down that there's a floral there um, I tend not to read the descriptions before I do this so um sometimes i've just done it anyway because i've shared the post or whatever but I, do, I try not to read what i'm kind of sharing too much at that point um and then i'll just go blindly into the scent so for example i did it with the aerial one earlier so i purposely didn't um look at the description at all so even though i'd copied and pasted it onto the team groups and stuff i hadn't read it um properly until i'd kind of really sniffed it and took it on board um and so I did this earlier and I'll go through what I kind of smelt with it, but I literally focus on nothing else. I close my eyes so that my strongest scent is my scent and I can really depict those notes in there. So when I smelt it earlier, I just kind of jot down some just like crazy little notes. So um, I said it was a floral, it was a bright floral. Um, there was a beachiness to it, like kind of there was a bit of a sea salt freshness. There was berry and maybe a pop of citrus in there. Um, but I did that through several inhaling. So I kind of got my first and I wrote down the floral part and I'd go back and do it again. Um, and I would keep just breathing it in and just keep visualizing where it then took me. And then I, um, I still hadn't looked at the description at this point. And I started to think about where it took me. So I kept my eyes shut. And it just made me think of um, when I was in Santa Monica um, on the pier uh, a few years ago. And it just took me back to that. We were just watching this young girl play a violin. Um, and I don't know, she was like eight or nine. And she was just like amazing. She was playing like pop music but with the violin and it was just incredible. And then like the ocean was there. It was a beautiful sunny day. There was like candy, like there was a little stool thing next to us that had all these like fruits and candy floss and stuff like that. And it literally took me back there the second I smelt this. So I share all that when I'm doing a post about scents. I do it with every scent that I can and um, when I've smelt it. So I do it with my test spots or wax bars when I've got them. Um, and I'll just visualize it and then I'll share that story with them. Um, another example is when I did the garden um, waxes, the strawberry basil, for example, it took me straight back to um, picking your own strawberries at the farm. So like the basil was the first note that I got and I shared that with my customers. I went on live and, and actually did this live with them as well. So I didn't even do it as a post this time. Um, but I shared that I could smell the basil. It made me think of like the green vines as you're picking the strawberries and it's just all that greenery around you and the soil and everything like that. And then you get like the berries. So there was some strawberries and some raspberries in there. Um, and it just took me back to being a child and just picking the fruit with my family. Um, and that's just all that 
is to it. Like if you can sell the story with the fragrance, if you can pick out those notes that when you're describing it to your customers, it's more than that little description that Sensi give. And it is a good description how they talk about it. And it's really lovely. But if you can put your own spin on it and if you can just capture people's um, scent without them actually smelling it, then you're just transporting them and getting them to think about how they would feel when they've got the scent. Um, and it's just a case of storytelling with that. So I think that's everything. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll have some, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone and to our amazing speakers. So I really, really hope that that has been um, beneficial to you guys. Just getting a little bit more depth on the products, a little bit more knowledge about everything and realizing there's so much more than just a product on a shelf. It's just the actual when you learn when you watch the diffuser training for example you watch there's so much gone in behind it when you hear about like how they put the catalogs even the front cover of the catalog has got like little easter eggs all over it of like little clues and secrets they said um that there's so many clues on this catalog for ups, upcoming stuff all these like little kisses that sensi put in it's all so special um so there's so so much more to it than just like I said products on a shelf you're actually selling what's the word Sarah Jane you're probably better at finding a good word <laughs> look at your face your eyes went up <laughs> you'll be better but what is it that you're sharing it's there's just so much more to it isn't there it's just captivating people's like hearts and minds and getting yeah it's, it's like people. passion like the passion that's gone into everything it's just unreal but I really hope that you guys have um have got some like growing your own knowledge by listening to all our amazing speakers tonight. I know I did, particularly on the pet products. That was like, oh my God. And then, yeah, I just want to go and like do a live sniffer thumb on my uh, page. <laughs> but yes, so guys, tell us in the chat, what actions are you going to take? What are you going to do? I might uh, pause the recording now. Diffuser. Yes, I need to do those stickers. So Gemma Webb has actually made some. I'm sure you have, haven't you, Gemma? How do I pause the recording? Yeah, I have. I've got them. I'll um I'll share them in Team Diamond after. <laughs>